so it probably look like a scary wreck but um katie katukle too just tagged me to do the feeding your toddler tag and i wanted to do it real quick while i was <laughs> motivated <laughs> floors asleep so um this is just like <sighs> relaxed time right now so um, let's do this feeding your toddler tag. The first question is, what is your meal and snack schedule? So, um, it really depends on how we start our day. Sometimes Flora wakes up around 8, sometimes she wakes up around 9, 9.30, 9.45. It really depends on when she wakes up. So, she wakes up um, around 8, I'll have breakfast probably around 8.45, um, it just seems to take us that long to get downstairs and prepare and um, sit down and eat. So she wakes up, she usually nurses for, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes sometimes. And then um, I always get her dressed before we go downstairs because I don't want to have to like trek back upstairs to dress her. Um, get her dressed, do her hair, <laughs> and then come downstairs and then make breakfast. And then we're good until um, lunchtime, which is around anywhere from 12.30 to 1.30. And then she will have a snack probably around uh, 3, well, probably like 3.30, 4, um, 4.30. And then we have dinner anywhere from 5.30 to 6.30. <laughs> so it's very vague. We don't have like a, um, a set schedule for meals. Um, but we do sit down at the table for each meal. It is um, structured in that manner. Number two, how much of your day is spent preparing food for your child? Uh, I don't really prepare separate meals for a floor. She pretty much eats what I eat for breakfast and lunch. Um, unless, um, yeah, pretty much. Um, snacks, I don't know, it takes like two minutes to wash some grapes or um, put some cereal in a little snack cup or it's really easy. I don't spend any separate time preparing her food. I do um, plate her food first because I usually stick it in the freezer for about 30 seconds to cool it off because she's a real issue with um, food that's um, too warm. Um, she goes, oh, hot. So it has to be pretty lukewarm um, to the room temperature for her to um, eat it. Number three, where do you find new recipes? Like um, Katie said, definitely Pinterest. Probably 90% of my recipes come from Pinterest. Um, also, um, YouTube videos. Like Katie mentioned, she was going to do a video on overnight oatmeal, so I just couldn't wait. So I Pinterested it, and we've had it uh, probably six times since then. It's so good. Number four, does your child have any diet restrictions? No. Um, but she, I do have a concern of her being allergic to citrus peels because I'm allergic to citrus peels. So um, I always peel her um, oranges and stuff, which I mean, obviously everyone does. But sometimes, like, she'll try to bite an orange, and I'll get really like, no, don't do that, because my lips fall up, and I just have a concern about breathing and things. So that's it, which is so mild compared to what it could be. Number. Five. What is your child's favorite food or snack? I addressed this kind of in her eating video. Um, her favorite foods are grapes, oranges, cereal, um, noodles, um, pizza, but it's mostly like pizza crust. <laughs> she doesn't really like toppings, uh, which is, I make my pizza with like a lot of vegetables on it so that is a bummer but oatmeal she loves oatmeal and she loves blueberries okay what food number six what food are you surprised that your child loves over um christmas we had lots of different kinds of seafood and she ate and liked mussels oysters and crab meat so i'm originally from maryland so she's a true little marylander at heart um I have made oysters since and like oyster stew and she does enjoy the broth but she won't really she wasn't into the oysters like she was previously but she ate like five or six I was really impressed 
Number seven, what is the typical toddler friendly food that your child won't eat? Um, like Katie's child Alice, she doesn't like chicken nuggets. And we have not tried to give her chicken nuggets um, a ton, maybe ooh, like four times in her life, but she doesn't like them, which is totally fine with me. Um, peanut butter and jelly, she's not a huge fan of, but she will eat it. Um, she doesn't really eat a lot of like toddler food. Like I said, I just give her what I give her. So, um, I don't know. Number eight, what kind of milk does your toddler drink? Um, she drinks breast milk. <laughs> um, she does have coconut milk, but not like daily. She probably has coconut milk three or four times a week, one cup a day maybe. Um, she's mostly still just on breast milk. Number nine, does your toddler use kid dishes or adult dishes? So she uses a mixture of both. If she use a, uses adult dishes, it's like the small little um, like dessert plates. The, that's what I would give her. Um, she does have some plastic plates, but I like the more sturdier ones because if she's like moving food around, I feel like the plate's not going to be sliding all around. Um, and she does fine. She doesn't like try to fling them or anything. Um, as for um, cutlery, she uses not plastic cutlery. She uses metal because she has, um, she's really good at her utensils, um, like forks and spoons. She does really well. So I don't want to frustrate her with plastic because it's, you know, it's so dull and it's hard to like spear things. So she does really well. So we do have several sets of um, spoons and forks for her. Number 10, if you could give advice to yourself six months ago, what would it be? Um, probably, like Katie said, that there's going to be times where she's not going to eat like she did prior to 12 months. Um, prior to 12 months, she ate pretty much anything I put in front of her, or at least tried it, and now <laughs> she will like look at it and like just can automatically tell that she's not going to even try that. But if you give her like a new um, like sweets, she knows it's sweets and she'll try it right away. So I think that's just so funny that she can differentiate um, between those two things already. But I would just tell myself not to stress. I heard a good um, um, a way of thinking a couple months ago is that, oh well, that's nice. Instead of thinking of they have to have so many vegetables um, and fruit servings in a day, think of it as like a week. So um, don't worry about it if they don't have any that day, but then they have a ton the next day. Just think of it as like a weekly allotment instead of a daily. I'll think about it and I'll put some tags in the um, bottom bar. Or I'll be lame and if you want to do it, just do it and leave it as a video response. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. Sorry floor wasn't in it, but like I said, I wanted to get it done. And I hope it was um, informative at least. That was our toddler tag at 18 months. Maybe I'll like revisit it um, in six months or so. So I hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.